Hey guys, Jake Jack. I'm back with another how to video. Um, with this video, I'm going to tell you how to pretty much make and buy with invoices. Uh, I got a little note here telling you what we will be talking about and everything else. So, let's just get started. I did just wake up and everything else, so part of that. Alright. So, a good thing about invoices that I personally like when I started using them is that you have, for sure, more control about what you can do with buyers and everything. I guess I should probably explain what invoices are, but if you're looking up, you could probably already guess. Invoices are really just a receipt, I guess. It's really something you fill out to give, hey, you owe me this, pay me. And that's pretty much what it is. And you pay up the person. Nice thing about invoices is that you don't need a PayPal to a PayPal account to pay for them. You just need your card. You can pay pay with it with PayPal, but it isn't a need. Sorry, my chair is squeaky. Um, you can just use a card, and that's totally fine too. Um. The thing that I really like about them is, like I was saying, I have way more control. If you can, you kind of notice that with PayPal, there's been a lot of issues about, like, refunds and, like, going to negative, shit like that. Um, this way, it keeps you, to me, safe. It's pretty much, you know, you're in control, you're not putting down stuff, and I'll show you all good things that I have learned so far with invoices. When I first started with them... I had no idea that they were through PayPal. I thought they were through like a whole nother account, a whole nother system that I had to fill out and everything else. And I could find no help on how to do an invoice. So I'm hoping this will get put out there for you guys. I really prefer it over than like you guys sending an email to people because when it comes down to it, you can get the email wrong. You can like, you know, as you can see, you can see claims are coming back saying, like, we, I never got anything because they didn't put the address down. All that stuff, it kind of takes you away. It's really cool and everything else. So, again, like, it started with what we can do. How do you make an invoice? So, I have the business app rather than, like, the personal account for F PayPal. Um, a few things is that you can do them with both. No, there are really no big change. The only thing that's really different is that if you have the app for your phone, you have to have the business app to be able to make an invoice on your phone. I do everything on the computer, even though I can have the business app. I just find it a little bit more tedious and everything. I like doing things on my computer. So... That's the only real difference. You can still do it, but it has to be on your computer if you have a personal account. And it's kind of like the same layout, just a little bit different. Invoices will be up here. And I can't remember exactly the name of it, but it is on like a drop down menu and you'll see invoice. So it will take you here. There's also another way you can do it if you can't figure out like where the invoice is. You go to money for your personal account and you go to send and request money and you pretty much right here it had to create an invoice and you can already create one right then and there too so that's another way you can get there i'll just go here uh nice another nice thing like i said it's literally a receipt you have the invoice number it's like the date and everything else i keep all these for record and all this stuff so, a few things I'm going to go across now. Another nice thing about invoices is that you can literally put your, you can go to items, and you can literally have all your prices already set. You don't have to sit here and be like, well, you need, this is going to be like 25 for this and this and this, and then be like, why? You can literally have, at least how I have it set up, is where you can have, like, Chibi and then like Chibi Plus with like an extra person if you charge extra people for another character type of deal. And that all I have to put in my lines and it will do it for me, do the math, and I don't have to worry about anything and they just have to pay me type of deal, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty damn efficient with my stuff. I make sure I have everything. Um, 
with there's another thing too you could create a template for when you're creating invoices uh we'll go to just get that in a second i have uh, my normal art related template so what this does is saves what i have on here other than like what the items and everything so down here rather than i was retyping this out forever and then i realized i could just save a template and then i'll have to retype this out editor again so i have you can really put a little nice little note over here a nice little note over here and then another nice thing you can allow payments if you allow payment plans you should click this you just put down like zero or you know, 10 or whatever the minimal payment you're agreeing to pay for the customer and everything else. You also cut out tip, so people can, rather than just pay you the set price, people can be like, here, I can give you even more money. So that's also nice, just because I always have that open. I don't know if that's like greedy, but I always have it open just because you never know how nice someone can be and give you money for free. <laughs> so it's like, here. But anyways, look at down your business and everything else. Um, yeah, over here, which is like, um, uh, how often you want this invoice to happen. Like, if they're paying you, I guess that kind of goes with the partly plan. So I don't really know why that is. I guess if you have, like, a bill they're doing, you know, I don't know. But, um, this is a new thing up here. It's just pretty much, I haven't really used it. It's like, you know how often you want this invoice to be created, I guess. Uh, number of invoices, I leave that alone. Invoice date, I kind of leave that alone too. I don't use the reference ever. And the due date, you can literally put down a due date if you really want to. I just put no due date just because that's easier. You can have your little picture here. You can have your business information right here, which is also nice. Uh, so they can, like, contact you, know your name that you're using. I have, obviously, have my Facebook name on there. Um, but, yeah. So, that's another thing. Let's just make an invoice. So, a few things. You can even do the name or you can do uh, the email. If you do the email, it will literally send it to their email. So, that's kind of nice. So, uh, obviously, they'll send it to... PayPal will send it to whatever email you have, uh, but again, that's pretty nice to have everything, uh, nothing too suspicious, I'll also show you what that looks like over here, because I sent one, my third one, like, years ago, like, when I first started, just to see how it looks, because I was curious, so, this has my old shit and everything else on it, sorry, my pardon, but, um, so pretty much has this, and it has the invoice, the total, and it says view invoice, or it should have pay invoice. I actually canceled it, so it's like, you know, uh, so I already have this, like, blue button to say pay. So that's one of the things, um, going back to my thing. So, uh, again, you can put the name, or you can put the number, and everything else. So... Uh, you can even put, you can even add customers. I never do, just because, you know, that's like, then I like, if you click this, then I kind of need the, like, the name and like, like, I guess I don't need the phone number, but it's like, you know, I kind of don't need, it's like one of the things I don't really need. Like, I'm okay with typing out the name. So I'm going to make myself an invoice. I'm just going to put Jack. And I'm going to... Uh, do it that way. You can also put down multiple customers. So if they're like, you know, have three friends that are paying for it, you don't have to put down one name. You can put down all three of their names. So you can remember to be like, hey, you're three of the one who paying for it rather than like, oh, well, he said he would pay for it. Ooh. But uh, this is also like where I like to point out is that it says ship to ad. If you don't put anything there, there's no ad you're to ship to. You don't have to worry about the buyer saying oh why well, put down no address and now you have my address type of deal blah 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 this way you'll have to worry about it. again being more in control with what you're doing um you go down here uh i'll let's say i want let's be really costly i want a rush sheet with extra details that's not what i want <laughs> i want uh, a rush sheet 
and then I want like add another item you can do like I also want full body that's like the full body plus button you get it you gotta kind of get my point you know and then so I you can add text if you want to I never do uh, I just say no text just because you know like that's probably not fair <laughs> But, uh, so you come down here, and you can do a discount if you guys are doing discounts and everything. You can do it, like, with money. You can do, like, a shipping fee if you're shipping sh stuff out. But come down here with a total and everything. Um, I am pretty much, once you get some, uh, I'm debating on if I should save this or not. Because I don't know if I really want to cancel it. But, um, once you get your, uh, things all filled out and everything else that you're satisfied you're like okay i'm done oh uh, you can also add a little memo you can also add to chat test files and everything i never do this but you know you're like okay i got everything filled out where i want to i got the name got everything whatever blah blah um you pretty much you can even say send it says send verse uh with paypal or sign or link, share a link to myself i always do share a link to myself and this is another thing about the app that you cannot do, is that it tells you, with the business app, they literally tell you you have to do the email. And so, as you guys already know, I don't like doing the email just because stuff gets sent wrong, and you really, then you're like, shoot, and everything else, maybe went to wrong email, blah, 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 gotta make a new one, all of this other stuff. So, I just feel like, you know, if I do it this way, I at least have it in more in control of what I'm doing and know that it's right. So you can share a link with yourself and that will close it. You're like, okay, copy. So I have now have that invoice all ready to go and everything else. Um as you guys see I tried tried to make a video before and it had zero dollars so it's like shoot. Okay. <laughs> but um alright. So let's say I am going to go to um Let's say you got the picture done, or you got the person shipped, and everything else. It's all good to go, and you got it all completed, and to pay for it, whatever. So what you want to do is you want to go to activity, and this is another good tip I found out myself, is that, okay, so actually I can do this right here because I personally left this open. So you have this one that I have. Is I did add on for her, so it says print out shipping label, but it has a drop down in the menu. Mark as shipped. So I am going to click on that, and it says tr tracking information not required. You click that, and mark shipped. So it's pretty much telling you. Now watch what happens. Go back to my stuff. Now it's saying that that is completely shipped, it's done, and everything else. It's telling Facebook that she had gotten her stuff and everything else, that I did everything I could and whatever on my part. And now I can just refund if I really want to and everything else. So, uh, that's another thing. So, I always try to remember to do that earlier than, like, later earlier than like sooner type of deal or you know yeah the same goes um just because the person if they have like a paypal and everything it would link up to that and it would tell you like it would tell them like this person like completed the invoice and then sometimes they'll get confused so i always try to do that like every time i complete a uh, order and everything that does a backtrack on me so all right so Let's see, I gotta check my notes. I'm so efficient, yeah. We'll go over here. How to make items, once the picture done, what next? Okay, so yeah, I got everything I got good here for uh, making invoices and everything else. It's really that simple, and if you have a business one, it will literally tell you how many invoices are on page for, and you can click here, and it will pretty much tell you which ones are on page for. Um, again, if you want to make a template, uh, you pretty much go to create, and you pretty much create a new template, 
and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, another few things that you know you can play around with these, just like quality per hour amount only, and stuff like that. So then you can like you know do all that different money issues if you want to do that. So that's always kind of nice. Um, actually, because I don't really do this. I Yeah, because I don't really need all that extra stuff. So, but, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for that side of it and everything else. Um, now I'm going to show you if you're, like, a buyer and you're the first, like, I do invoices. And you're like, what's that? I don't understand what that is. And it's always kind of scary because you don't really know. So, as a buyer now, we're flipping to that side. You are probably going to receive either an email, like I mentioned before, or a link. And because I copied that link, I'm not going to pay for this, just because I'm going to cancel it after this video. But, uh, pretty much, so you have something like this. And of course, with, uh, Axe, it's probably going to look different. So, alright, so it's pretty much telling you to pay, and it's an add tip. So you could like add like a two dollar tip if you want to, or you know, and have it be like you know. I usually just put in the amount. So if I want to add a tip, let's say I want to give myself forty five dollars, and or you know what, actually, yeah, you want to put forty five dollars, and actually no. <laughs> so you add a tip. So let's say if you want to give a five dollar tip. And it says, now this is, has changed from the previous 38 to $43. So you pretty much take it and you go pay. You click on it. Hopefully it doesn't go through. Because I don't know what said. Uh, it's pretty much telling me I have to log in and everything else. So you log in. I already have PayPal selected. So it just kind of probably had telling me it's very it's confused on everything. Uh, because it's the same person, everything, yeah, so, it's like payment to, <laughs> just pretty much to myself, but anyways, so you will get this thing where you, you can log in, and you have that choice, if you have a PayPal account, it will be like, you want to do it through your PayPal money, you want to do it through a card, everything else, if you have experience using your PayPal, and buy things out, like elsewhere and everything, that's pretty much what it looks like, um, if you do not have a PayPal, it should just ask you for your card information. Like, you, obviously, it has, like, here, pay for a debit or credit card. And it would just ask you to pretty much fill it out, like, anything else. And, you know, your contact information, if you want to do that. Uh, all that great jazz. And you're like, yes, I would like a PayPal account. No, I would like, no, I would not. And you pretty much pay now. So that's pretty much how it goes for the other side of it. Um, I know that was kind of fast, but it's really super, like, step-by-step -step forward and everything. I'm just trying to assure you guys that, you know, this is legit. It's not, uh, it's not a scam or anything. It's not going to take your money or all this stuff. So, but, okay, so, here. Okay, so... So that's kind of nice and everything, is that you just have to kind of like let your people know that, you know, this is legit and this is how you use things. And like I said, I pre really prefer you guys to use this rather than other things just because uh, I think it's more efficient. And as a artist or as a, a seller, I guess, it's just more control of where your money is going, how much they're paying and everything else. Then you'll have this person saying, like, I'm only going to give you five, and that's all you're going to get. You can literally make an invoice if you're like, this is what you owe, and everything else, and this is what we agree on. So that's really nice. Um, some of the things that you could come across that I have had issues with is that Chase, Chase Bank or whatever, is very picky about invoices. And I have seen that it doesn't really want to pay for them. I don't know if it was just that person, but, um, I have my fiance's mom's account hooked up to my PayPal at the Chase Bank, and we're totally fine. So, I don't really know if it's, like, 
if it was just that person. It pretty much told the person that when I send the invoice that this, the bank won't let you have it. So I don't know if she was supposed to call and like, you know, verify that this is what I wanted or whatever. Whatever happened, but that's like one of the issues I came across. Um, I mean, not much is really, I haven't really come across a lot of issues. Like I said, I never got in trouble for like, you know, sending, things getting sent back to me wanting a refund or whatever. They literally, like, you know, all this stuff. So, oh, another thing you should probably realize is that this does, is the same as paying for goods for food pay, PayPal. So it does take that small fee out. So, uh, and the thing that kind of sucks too is that if you're going to do a partial payment with somebody, no matter how many times they pay, we'll always take out that little small fee. So that kind of sucks. So it's like, um, I have a person paying like $40 and she pays like 10 each month. Uh, she, it takes out a good 25 cents, maybe, per 10. So, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I did, uh, decide that if they're going to be like a over over a hundred dollars worth of stuff that and you want to do a partial payment for it depending on how many payments i made you a fee on top of that just so it covers that i'm not losing like 25 cents per ten dollars pretty much uh it really depends on how much you send and everything else and all this stuff so that's like another thing you want i might want to think about but again it's really easy it's really efficient it's really not something you really need to worry about or anything um but yeah so hope you guys have a good day and i'll talk to you later bye